Behind the Rios, the Bob Voorhees. Woo! <laughs> What's happening guys? I'm Gav. You guys are awesome and this is Valley's Tarantulas. Thanks for watching guys. Right, you just seen? It is time to put the Balfouris into their new enclosure. After two and a half weeks or maybe three weeks, the clay is dried. Woo! The log burner worked, thank God. So uh, yeah, basically guys, I'm not going to be doing this in the bedroom. I'll be doing it in the toilet. I'm going to catch the Balfouri in here. They are, there are some, there's one here, another one is two or three, but they, it says there's four in there. When I actually purchased it, I was told there was four, but it isn't, there's five. Um, this is what I purchased them in, I just added some substrate where at the time, they've, I don't even know what's happening underneath, there's tunnels going everywhere. Obviously you guys would have seen, or if you haven't, you will soon see the new enclosure that I built for them. I'm going to add a couple of bits and bobs to that. But yeah, first of all, we're going to go in the toilet and catch five Balfouris. So, uh, yeah, wish me luck, and I'll see you in the shit dad. Peace! Right, hey guys, here we are in the toilet, as usual, for the big rios. We're all set up. Got my GoPro on as well, so hopefully we'll have a bit of footage of that, if I can work out how to do it. I am having some lessons. As I'm looking in here, that there, I think, if I look through, what I can see, I think that is a mature male, but I'm not sure. Great start. So yeah, basically guys, we've got some catch cups and bits and bobs. We're going to put them all into these. Just a bit of a maintenance check here, because to be quite honest with you, I haven't seen any of these uh, for much time. So um, yeah, and this enclosure is a right mess. Should be ashamed of myself. Right, so yeah guys, let's, uh, let's catch some Balfouris. Sweet. All right then. Take the hat off. Here we go. Just do this. Tools and engagement are not the best today, actually. They're just a pair of tongs and a metal stick, which isn't the best. But they've got a real big catch cup. Big. And then I've got little critter things. Where you get your food in, you know? Yeah, sweet. Let's put them out today. Get them all open. There you go. One, two, three, four. Four legs. Yes. Sweet. Right, we're going to put the first one in here anyway. We've got another spare card cup just in case. Right then. Oh, I've got a little straw as well, just in case I need to poke anything. Right. I don't know how this is going to go. There's a lot in this bath. So, uh, let's get the lid off. That is one stinky enclosure. Stinky, stinky, stinkiness. Let me see, I can see one there. And that's all I can see. Tremendous. Right, we've got a moat here. Destroyed. Right, I have absolutely no idea how I'm going to go about this, to be honest with you. Just slowly uh, play the part somewhere over here, I think, and see. Uh, See what happens, guys. To be honest, with you. we'll try this corner first because there's a. Oh, right, there's one. Oh, oh dear, one isn't happy. <laughs> oh, and there goes one. Tremendous. Oh, oh, oh dear. I thought they wanted to climb up the bath. Try and start. First one's up the wall. Come on. Oh, there's the first one. Let's see if I can get this. You just keep your eyes on that, guys. Make sure I'm not they do. You let me know. Just ring me or something. Oh, I think that was a shit tie. Sorry about my knowledge. But yeah. That's number one. That is not. Well, it doesn't look like a mature male. I mean, it's very healthy and well done. Dear. 
Yeah, sweet. These tubs are crap, I just realized. Right, so there's one, guys. We have one. Leave me home. Right. Hopefully, these are better. Nope, none of them in there. Right, the other four have got to be in here then. And I would be correct. Let's just show you guys, I don't even want to pick you up. It's a good post of the Can you see if I zoom you in? One, two, three. There's another one in there. Oh, there's the legs. There. There's four. So that'll be the five guys. Sweet. Right. Let's go back to catching these little buggers. Please stay there, camera. Right, there's an all I'm going to do this because they're pretty skittish. I didn't expect them to be like this. Sweet. That a, that's a mature male. 100%. 100% mature male. So he will not be going back in. What should I put him in? Forget these things at the moment to make a move. Number two, guys. That is mature male. The others are females, definitely. The size on them compared to him is unbelievable. As you will see. Oh, look out! Oh, just why, why, why do they be so skittish? Come on, you burger, stay in me. Sweet. There's number two, three.
can see, look at the size difference compared to the mature male. Sweet, next one. Now this one in the corner, so on a bit of a threat posture, I think. It's a bit unhappy about the situation, do you know what I mean? Sorry about that, blood. Yeah, he's dribbling and everything. This one really is happy. He's hissing at me because I'm a bugger. He want to fight me for money. But I ain't got no money. I just got you a nice new enclosure, baby. Come on now. Yes, now. It's not as easy as I thought the bar was going to sell. Number four. She's making silly noises as well. Why do they do that for us? That's not very nice. Oh, not very nice. Oh, yeah. yeah, she is really not happy at making noises and everything. That's what I have it. I think she's a king dang lady. She's the biggest of the lot. And there's the last one, guys. I'm just have a quick little. Uh, I'm sure there's nothing else near to come up there. I'm sure. No. Sweet. Right then. Awesomely, awesomely, awesomeness. Turn the old beast off. Right then. Wasn't too bad, was it? Five transfers caught in a couple of minutes. Like I say, this one here is definitely a mature male. The size difference to him compared to the others, so I have four females, one, uh, three females, one male. Which is sweet. I am going to introduce some more at some point. Um, I don't really know a lot about it at the moment, so I'm just going to do a bit of research and see what the crack is, but yeah. Awesome. Right. Plan is, do I pull them in in here? Because they were pretty nuts for me. Yeah, I'll go and get the enclosure, and I'll meet you back here, right here.
Right guys, here we are. I've got the enclosure. I've popped the balloons, as you can see, and yay, everything's staying there. I've added a bit of um, sphagnum, just like with a core park, and chucked a bit of sand in just for effect. And basically what I'm gonna do is put them in, and then I'm gonna give them a couple of days so they get on. And then I might add a bit of substrate then for them to burrow in, because that clay they can't burrow, but they have. Up under this hole here, or this skull, there is a tunnel going into the back. There's a hole here and a hole there, and another hole under there with two holes in each skull as well on top, all lead into a big chamber at the back. So I'm hoping they'll just go in the chamber and live in there. But you know these things are, they probably won't. They'll probably take a refuge over here somewhere and just ruin the entire thing. But yeah, sweet. Right. Let's get these in here. How are we going to do this with you guys? I've got to do it on the floor because it's so heavy that uh, it's not, uh, I can't even be doing it up in the bath because it's fucking heavy. I'm going to break the bath. Sound. Is that leg going to stay there though? Sweet, right. Let's just get this back here a minute. Excellent. Right, I think that's going to stay there. Um, right, I've decided. I'm going to put the male back in because, well, I shouldn't be because they're not mature females by any means. No, I'm not. I'm not going to put the male back in. I'm going to keep the male out and ship him off. Put the four females back in and, um, yeah, let them crack on and I might introduce some males and I'll later on in there. But obviously the females mature a bit. Sweet. Right, let's get it on with this. Sure, but the, the order they come out, the order they should go back in there, is it? Have a little dubia roach. Tub first. Don't know how this is going to go, guys. Get the catch cut just in case they start running on the bath. Move that over there. Give me some space. Like I say, the enclosure isn't technically 100% finished. It all depends on how they get on in here now. It is very dry and arid, so we shall see. That worked. Straighten the butt. in the hole of a little mature buddy. You're not going back in soon. Sorry. Mm. Right. The grumpy bunch now. These are all hissies, aren't they? Let's just take them all over him and go. So I'm not walking back. Sweet. Right. So there's one in. I don't know where it's gone and probably will never see it again. But uh... Who's number two? Number three. And last but not least, the grumpiest of all grumps. Well, I think that was the grumpiest of all grumps. Oh 
shit. Number four. Three. And there we go. All that they're doing there now, guys, is to add a bit of water to that water bowl. Well, that's the end of that. Let me just shut the lid so when I'm talking to you guys, nobody escapes. Excellent. Right. Everyone's a winner. That's the truth. As you can see, one, two. One went straight in the burrow. Never to be seen again. And number three, and uh, number four, sorry, is just cut down in the corner there. Sweet. See, as you can see, look, holes everywhere they can get in. It's awesome. You guys should love it. Now do me some webs. Right, there it is, guys. Like I say, I'll, uh, I've got to go move some stuff now and, uh, Get this on the shelf because this is heavy Swiss gas to go down low. Pardon me. Yeah, awesome. That's the bar for you, well, guys. I'll keep you updated on the web in situations, but uh, yeah, that went pretty smooth. We've got a mature mail. If anybody needs him, please get in touch. I will be start shipping the end of January if the weather spells itself out and before you had to go out. So, um, yeah, wicked. They're all moving about in. Oh, straight up under the skull. Sweet. Awesome. Like I say, I'm Gav. This is the toilet of Valley's Tarantulas. We've just re the Balfouri Communal. You guys are awesome. <laughs>